Have you ever stopped to listen to the world around you? Wild Music at the Science Museum does just that. Here's Shelby with more. We're here at the Science Museum of Minnesota at the Wild Music Exhibit with Janine Hansen. Can you give us a quick tour? Absolutely, let's go. Have a seat and I'll show you how this works. Okay. Choose your topic. And this exhibit component is all about how music stirs up memories. Look up here. Okay. Report. Okay. Um, I don't have too many memories of this song because I don't hear it that much. This is actually a drum kit that's playing a human voice. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh my, wow. is this Wild Music Exhibit all about? Well, we're here at the Wild Music Exhibit at the Science Museum of Minnesota. It's a brand new exhibit, and it's all about how all living things, human and animal, make music. So it's, you're kind of finding a connection and sharing that with everybody? Absolutely. This exhibit looks at music from three different perspectives. You get to see the forest, which is the animals, the cityscape, the human music. And then there's even a pretty neat area that goes underwater, so you get to hear how things sound different underwater. Wow. And you see that, that yellow thing up microphone? there? That's the microphone. Okay. I'll try the motor. Okay. okay. I guess this must be what fish hear. I think one of the most fun activities for teens at this exhibit at the Science Museum is the jamming room. You can make your own music. There's a mixing board in there. You can make natural sounds, play some instruments, and lay down your own tracks. Now it's recording. This is a whatever show, uh, uh, oh. This is a whatever show, uh, uh. <laughs> This is a whatever show, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I like these. So you do think this would be a good place for teens that they'd have a good time here? Well, I think teens are really interested in music. I mean, what teen doesn't have an iPod today? But what I think teens will learn when they come to this exhibit is that long before the iPod, humans and animals were making all sorts of sounds to yeah. communicate. Some cricket things really loud over there. How did you guys come up with some of your sound and music ideas? Well, this exhibit was actually developed here at the Science Museum, but we relied on a lot of experts in fields of whale song, natural sound, and even some people who are really involved in urban music. It's got a lot of exciting collaboration behind it. Oh, that's pretty. That is cool. Do you think this is just a place for like musically active kids or do you think this would be a great time for like anybody even if they don't know anything about it? I think this exhibit is, can be fun for people at a lot of levels. There are some pretty sophisticated activities like the jamming room. Mm -hmm. But there's also some really entry level things too. I personally don't have a lot of musical ability and I have a great time here. Okay. If you want more information about stories featured on our show or